<clears throat> Welcome to Let's Play Dramatical Murders. Dramatical Murders, if you haven't heard about this game before, is a BL visual novel. BL standing for boy love, which means gay romance. Um, it is almost 3 in the morning right now and I decided for some reason this is the night I'm going to start doing this. Um, so I'm going to try to get like at least 20 minutes into the game. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. I have really no idea what I'm walking into. Uh, so... Uh, Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna dramatically read the voices. Dramatic ways I can. I can't do voices. <clears throat> You really came? I was waiting. Always. Hurry to me. Destroy me. With your power. Alright, it's a little creepy. Is that me? Is that like the stalker that I have? I mean, I figured there must be some kind of. Alright. Hi! Hello, thank you for calling. This is Junk Shop Haven. Um, there's something I'd like to ask. Hi. Mm hmm. Yes. Do you have any parts for an S2 all types all mates in your shop? Hi. Yes, we do. We also have them in stock. Ah, is that right? I see. Thank you very much. Would you like to place an order? Uh, no. Well, I can see him doing this. Well. Hi? Yes? Well, this may come off as so very sudden, but. Hi? Yeah? If you're okay with it, then. When your shop closes today, could I meet you? Dude, he's hitting on... He's hitting on him just because... Has he even met this dude before? Aww. Aww. Oh, how should I say this? Your voice... This... It's a very nice voice. I was just thinking... Oh my god, that giggle at the end is super creepy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes, Honna, Masaka, Tondemonai, Tai Hen, Kyoshiku, this. Ah, Tokoro de Okaksama, Stutsu, Moida, Stakoto, Garima, Ste, Yoroshi, this car. No, I wasn't reading that line out loud because I was listening to his voice. Uh, they say he has a nice voice, very smooth, very buttery. I would make love to that voice. But. I don't know. Is it? I don't, I don't know if it's. Yeah, okay. Alright, I guess I'm just not that turned on that much by voices that I'm just like, hey, random delivery dude, do you want to hook up with me after you get off of work? Um. Anyways. Uh. In fact, you can see talks about S2 type parts and parts a while ago. ago. This time, the part, new parts of that series will be arriving shortly. So the uh, English in this, in this translation is technically correct. Sometimes it's a little clunky, so um, I might improv a little bit later on. Mm. 
So we are accepting reservations, especially introducing them to our most loyal customers right now. Would you be interested in signing up? I also think it'd be popular products, so sell it immediately. But you'll definitely be able to purchase them if you sign up to the survey now. Yeah, but now he really wanted this dick. But of course, because this is a special opportunity, limited to special customers only. If you want to reserve, I could do it for you right now. As a service. Service? Is he thinking... This guy has a dirty mind, okay? Like, are you even asking me out when he just hears my voice over the phone? I know, just whatever. Hi! Hi, service. Yes. I was kinda... He's <laughs> way too excited, he's about... Um, oh, certainly, thank you very much. Now then, can you please please send your personal data to me? Uh, again, thank you very much. We've received your reservation. Well then, please keep supporting our shop in the future too. Yes. Oh. I know how you feel all about just listening to that dude, like, pain to me. As soon as I hang up the phone, I let out a huge sigh. Although I do it knowingly, speaking to customers with ulterior motives is really annoying. Um, if this goes well, I'm sure to sell something, so that's okay. Your voice is so wonderful. I need to meet you no matter what. Among the people who contact our shop by phone, there's an awful lot of guys who say that. Because every guy on this island has to be gay. They want to meet me when all they know is my voice. If I was a woman, it'd be better. But usually a guy wouldn't ask another guy something like that. Wait, so he's not gay? At first I could handle them well, but like anybody else in the world, like anyone else would, I became in irritated when it kept happening. But it also became easier to get people to buy our, co buy our stuff. From then on, like the phone call just now, I could even make more sales. Strangely enough though, it doesn't happen in the actual shop. Sometimes the customer actually comes to meet me after a telephone call. But I just play it off. Well, I think it's more like, um, ladies will know this if they ever get creepy ass messages from guys who would never approach them in real life. And they're like, yeah, here, I want to see a picture of my dick. It's basically the same. Sometimes people don't even ask that, just get a picture. Anyway, uh, this is kind of the equivalent of like, these guys are just like, yo, want to like, meet me? And, Obviously not, because they're not really gay for the person. I hope you find true love, Alba. They all end up leaving without noticing I was the owner of that voice. Since there's not much harm done, I just think, well, whatever, and leave it be. It's kind of like... Awesome, that was terrible. <sighs> the manager should be back soon. I stretch my arms out wide and check the digital clock on the counter. Junk shop table location. This shop provides a variety of things ranging from small expendable supplies to specialized metal parts at a bargain price. Junk shop table. I was attracted by the subtleness of the store name and started working here. I wonder how long it's been. Anyway, that was a long time ago. I don't know if he knows what the word subtleness means. Sorry, my nose is itching a lot. It's probably because it's, it's 3 in the morning and it's just... Uh. Oh, mm -hmm. A message, huh? I was spacing out and had my elbow on the counter. 
when the coil on my arm ring. A coil is something like a mobile phone, but it's much more convenient than just that. Phone calls, messages, payments, identification, and of course, watching TV can all be done on this one machine. So I guess like a smartwatch. Dore dore. Let's see. Captive Princess, please save me. This is a new kind of ad? The adult kind, maybe. I'll probably continue like, please help me. I've been troubled by my aching body or something like that. <clears throat> Now Alba is the one with the dirty mind. Like, seriously? Okay. Deletes. <laughs> As I was handling my coil, something slammed into my waist. I fell from the chair and something heavy lands on my back. Three giggling voices. The culprits had to be. Alba, Alba's open! Open like a book! You're so uncool! <laughs> Clearly I can't do children's voices. They're the ones that are like, loitering here. Oh Who are you? The evil brat siblings have finally appeared. The eldest son, Kyo, the second son, Nao, and the eldest daughter, Mio. A group of annoying neighborhood kids who only come here to go on wild rampages through the shop. I've told you too many times this isn't a playground. Can't you kids learn anything? Uh, I was looking at a pretty email. I thought you deleted it already, Alba. Eh? Eh? Uso! No way! Now raises her voice after looking at my coil uh, over my shoulder, and the remaining two hear it and lean all over me. <laughs> I'm gonna suffocate. It's really hard to imagine them like being pounced on his back because yeah. <laughs> Get off me, oh, stupid. Pretty email, pretty email. Baba's a pervert. Hentai. I think your hentai isn't uh, popular enough for it, right? Your lips are dirty. <laughs> oh, some message about buying bad stuff, because this shop is sketchy. That was not a kid's voice at all. Sketchy, sketchy. This shop really does suck. <laughs> Alright, let's arrest this pretty dirty sketchy dude. How about... Let's do it. Get off already, you brats. That sound. <laughs> I dilt up, legs wobbling, trying to shake them off. They don't care if... They don't care if I say they're childish. There's no way these kids would give up just like that. Yeah. That thing on the top of the shelf. What's he used for? It's probably a tool to beat someone up. Scary. Boys are savages. <laughs> Kids don't like savages. Their attention has already moved on to other things. <laughs> you guys. I was so shocked when I looked at my coil. At some point, it had started to play a completion screen. Oh yeah, I had the feeling I heard a strange sound from it a while ago. Completion. Let me pretend that I have more a coil. 
Maybe I accidentally pushed a button when I was messing with the kids. I hope I didn't download some strange program. Ugh, this is so bad. As I stand there confused, the retro bell on the front door rings. Yeah. Today's delivery destination was somewhat far. The store manager, Hagasan, he's gone out for a delivery. He's back now. Hagasan! I really like this like, fighter introduction. I'm sorry for being late, Albaku. Hagasan's smile droops when he sees the evil brats. Considering the damage they've caused to the shop, well, it's a natural reaction. <clears throat> oh, new kids. こんにちは。よ、来てたんですね。よ。ゲオ、デカちゃん。ちょっと待ってろ。はい、だっけ。ゲオ、タイム。ゲオ、ゲオ、ゲオ、ゲオ、ゲオ、ゲオ、ゲ
So, so sales are doubling. I think 50%. 50% is not doubling. But I mean, I guess that makes this guy happy. Well, that's good to hear. Okay, like his normal voice is not like. <laughs> anyway, if they're selling so well, we should increase the stock a little bit. Maybe. Need some more sales. After Haga-san listens to my good news, he finally returns to normal. That's a relief. So dangerous. Haga-san is so outrageous when he snaps, he begins to act violently. I mean, you saw the hellfire in that room, right? When he returned to his usual state, he pushed up his glasses, raised his eyebrows, and laughed. Yeah, I'm really, there's some troubling children, aren't they? Eh, eh, Yep, they are, aren't they? If they were so mischievous, they'd be quite cute. But alas, Kids will be kids. <laughs> I'm still surprised that no matter how many times I see him change into a different person. Almost a different person. Like two sides of a coin. The really evil side with like the actual voice or yeah. Sorry, I kinda hung up in the voice thing ever since like it I guess this is the gimmick that Alba has a really Nice voice, and he does. It's just not a mean voice. I think it said that people like that are fast to flip the switch. Oh, uh, yeah, Obakun. Haga san walks to the counter and picks up a paper bag by his feet. I'm sorry, but could you deliver this baggage to the courier? You can wrap it up for today. As you go. But, it's okay. I... Yes, in fact, a customer is already suddenly coming here today, so I thought I'd close the shop early. Probably could be for Albert, of course. In that case, I'll do it. I pick up my bag next to me and take the paper bag from Hakasan. As I check the slip, I notice the destination is a little far away. This package is going to be... is going to the courier. I'll be leaving then. Thanks for today. Yes, good work. Be careful. I'm not doing with the deep voice. It's not. I bow at the wildly widely smiling Haga-san and step outside. The time display on my coil might read 3 p.m. Some people mingle in this area even though it's a back street. I think they mean border. There are several routes I could use to get to the courier. I wondered which way would be the fastest. I take a soft lump of fur with both of my hands out from the bag of my shoulder. Oh, so cute! While holding the sleeping lump of fur, I started up by pressing my hand to its forehead. Ren, wake up. Ren, wake up. It's a robot dog. When I call him, he opens his deep black eyes with a click. <laughs> Taking robot dogs to the next step. This was actually oh, wow. super cute. Robo. Whoa, I'd like to go to the courier. Can you search for the quickest route? <laughs> I love this dog so much. I love this dog so much, but it seems a little bit... Oh no, inconvenient when you have this, like, thing on your wrist that you can possibly do this with. Whatever, maybe he can sync it. Bluetooth what? Bluetooth with the the dog, but I mean, I can understand wanting to hold the dog. Look at it, it's so cute! Oh my god. Silently, Ren lightly touches his paw to my upper arm. Road 2241 at East is blocked because of police inspection. Buses are cancelled for maintenance. It is quicker to make a detour past passing the 
North Terminal. Asuka, thank you. I see. Thanks. When I pat his head, Red barks once and wags his tail. Yosha, so let's go. Let's go. Man, this guy is just so cool. Look at these headphones, so futuristic. Here's the opening credits. He's just like riding down the street. Anyway, so, um, time to admit this is my first boy love game ever. Did I say that before? I did. Um, cause, so I don't have any idea what I'm doing. Uh, I like boy love. I used to read a lot of boy love manga. Uh, I like that guy's car. It's like gashy. Um, this guy, I think I'm, I like the dark and chopper. Look at dreadlocks. Creepy. Yeah, so uh, I was just kind of getting kind of interested in playing one of these for a while. My friend and I are actually working on a visual novel, um, not a boy love one, sadly. Uh, someday maybe I'd write one. That'd be cool. Um, I know that there's a BL. There's a BL community on Tumblr I should join, probably. That sounds like fun. I don't even use my Tumblr for anything, so that'd be something to put on that. Anyways, commentary. So, so I get, I'm guessing that this is him running down to the courier, which doesn't make sense because the courier is supposed to take something from one place to another place when you die. Oh no, and all these guys are kind of cool. I like the twins because, I don't know, like, I like um, I kind of like the guy with the, the dreadlocks too. So we'll see which one sounds more, looks more interesting when it gets to it. It's so futuristic. So. Oh, also the twins are both like classes types, so it's cool. <laughs> the best way to travel around here is by foot. It's what everybody does. The transportation system on the old resident district is pretty bad. There's a big street running through the center of the city. Sometimes there might be a bus or a train, sometimes even a taxi. Oh my god, taxis. But they can also be cancelled or delayed without notice, so they're not really reliable. Go figure. You should call an Uber with your magical coil thing. The roads might be blocked at any time too, so nobody trusts public transportation. This place looks, sounds pretty shitty. Even now, there are hardly any cars in the street. There's only one taxi waiting in the rain, and some junked cars parked on the roadside. The sidewalk is filled with people coming and going. The most reliable thing you could have are your own legs. The hopeless old resident district is divided into north, south, east, west, they're similar, but have some differences. For example, the East District, where both Haybone and my home are, is a residential area mixed with parts of downtown. The whole district is relatively safe, and it's easy to get your hands on various things. The North District is an off-limits area and has become something like a ghost town. It's unsafe. The West District is a residential area, but you can't really do any shopping there. The South District is full of clothing shops, arcades, and entertainment facilities, so a lot of young people go there. And if you go further than the North District, there's a Platinum Jail, a place full of celebrities and corporate purveyors. And that does not really sound like a fun place. English. English. Platinum Jail is one of the five Japanese conglomerates, and when Toei Inc. bought this island, Midorijima, they transformed it into a members-only entertainment area. How fancy. Damn you, 1%. 
Platinum Jail is one of the five Japanese conglomerates. I, I think I just read that. If the stories I've heard are true, everything there seems to be luxurious. Starting with the Oval Tower, standing in the center of the city, there's huge casinos, movie theaters, shopping malls, and hotels. Anyway, it's packed with all sorts of things. Basically, you can't become a member unless you're invited. The membership fee is about enough to buy this whole island. Or so I've heard. Of course the people who are in the old resident district can't get into Platinum Jail. The old resident district is, so to speak, almost like a slum, so it's tentatively managed to the degree that barely anyone can live here. But that's it. The police who only act big are teamed up with Yakuza and do whatever they want, so there's a huge difference between here and Platinum Jail. It's not like we can do anything about it, even if we're unhappy. We can't do anything but endure and swallow it. How fatalistic. Even so, it's often said that there's no place like home, so once you get used to it, living here is unexpectedly comfortable. We're not cornered so badly that we can't live. We have our nice days. I don't wish for much. I don't mind it if it continues like this. The people in the old resident district live thinking like that. Alba. 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 <laughs> dog. Oh my god, I love this dog. Um, Ren pokes his head out of the bag and casts my arm with his paw. What's the matter? You are thinking too much. My thought circuit is almost short circuiting. Oh, are they connected via thought link? Like, that's one step up from Bluetooth link. Seriously? Just how poor of a thought circuit did I install on you? The intensity of your thought circuit is temporarily set to 100 compared to the average adult male. The intensity of Alba's thought circuit would be... Hey, that's me who's going to short circuit Is that so? I involuntarily smile at Ren's earnest answer and stroke his head. Ren is a dog type all me. All mates are artificial life forms of intelligence, generally used as a support for network tools. They can search the internet and virtual space for information, and of course, they can also be used to shop online. Dogs can help you shop. Depending on the model, it's also possible to use one as a helping hand around the house, and they play an active part as a partner in a net game called Rhyme. There are many types of all mates. Among them are animal types, which have many different forms. Many people love them as pets. Ren and I have been together for quite a long time, too. I'm not exaggerating to say that I would even call him my partner. Even as all mates improve and new models come out, I wouldn't abandon Ren even if hell froze over. Of course not. Look at that sweet little face. Oh, oh but if you want to take a shortcut, turn right at the next row. Was drag, that, that, that was close, almost missed it. What's he doing? Is he still running at this time? Like, I get the opening sequence. That's what's going on. Alright, um, I think this is a good natural break. I'm going to. It says caution. I'm gonna quit the game. I don't. I wanna save the game first. Actually, here we go. Save. All right. Cool. Um, I am going to save it here because I have been on this game for half an hour now, and it is now three thirty in the morning. Um. Um, then I have to wake up in the morning and actually edit this at some point. Um, so I hope that you'll stick along with me for this journey. We haven't made any decisions yet. I was thinking about trying to play until my first decision so that y'all could help me pick out what to do. Um, so maybe I'll do that later on. Uh, 
If you're here, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the first timers look at 